Welcome to Bot Sailor. We have added some new features for better experiences on the WhatsApp chatbot. Now you can set a welcome message, an icebreaker, commands, and collect the location of the subscriber on the chatbot. In this video, I will show how to create and use them on a WhatsApp chatbot. First, let's see how to create a welcome message and turn it on. From the Bot Sailor's dashboard, go to WhatsApp Bot Manager. Select the Actions button. Then click on Get Started. It already has a default reply. You can edit the bot to match your requirements. Let's add an image reply to it. You can add whatever you want. Save it after editing. Now, you need to go to your WhatsApp Cloud API to turn on the welcome message. Let's go to the Bot Sailor's dashboard and click on the Connect account. Find the connected bot account and click on the Manage option. This will redirect you to the WhatsApp Cloud API. Click on the Settings button. Select Automation from here. Turn on the welcome message from here. From here itself, we have to create the icebreakers. Icebreakers are common questions that people can easily ask. After creating questions here, we need to create bot replies for each of these questions that we make here. Let's click on the edit button. Just type the question here. Click on the add icebreaker button to add more questions. To save, just click on the Save button. Now, we have to create bot replies for these icebreaker questions. In the bot, we have to use this question itself as a keyword. So, let's copy the icebreaker questions from here. Let's get back to the bot manager and create a bot. Put the questions as keyword. Give a name for the bot. Save it. Now, let's add replies to this bot. I am just adding a text reply. We can use any kind of reply. Don't forget to save the bot. Do the same for the other icebreaker questions. To create commands, let's go back to the WhatsApp Cloud API. Click on the Command Edit button. Put the command text here. We must use a slash before the command text. Add a command description. To add more commands, click on the Add Command button. Save the bot. Now, we need to create bot replies for these commands. Each command will have a different bot, and the keyword for the bot will be the same as the command. Let's copy the command to use it in the bot as a keyword. Go back to the bot manager to create the bot for commands. Put the copied command into the keyword field. Give a name to the bot and save it. Add a reply for this bot. In the same way, create another bot for the other command that we have created.
Now, let's see how to use a location button in a bot to collect the location of the subscribers. From the bot reply, click on the create button. Double click on the start bot flow. Put a keyword for the bot. I am using location just as an example. It can be very different for your bot. Give a name for the bot. Then add the location component as a reply to the bot. You can use this component anywhere in your bot. Just put some text in the location reply. That's all. Save the bot. Now, let's take a look at everything we've crafted in this video. Yes, the welcome message has been received. And all the icebreaker questions are present. Let's click on a question. Yes, we have received the reply for the icebreaker. To check commands, just type the slash in the message, and all the commands will show up. Yes, this is also working perfectly. Let's check the location button. If we go to the live chat of Bot Sailor, we can see the location has been shared. We can also get the location information from the subscriber manager. So, this is how we can use the welcome message, icebreaker, commands, and location button on a bot by using Bot Sailor. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.